Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I decided to make a video and it's been a long time since I've made a video. I used to do it quite a bit last year and then I just, I don't know, I kind of lost my way I guess with doing it. Nothing had really piqued my interest to do a video on. I kind of got my pickups where I like them and just hadn't shot any videos in quite a while. Well, <laughs> we finally got something today that's piqued my interest enough, in fact so much that it inspired me to shoot a video uh, in regards to so a lot of people that know me um, <laughs> might in some ways consider me cheap I like to save a buck where I can here and there um, but you know that's a word I really don't like to use because whenever I think of cheap I think of disposable throw away uh, there's just kind of negative association with that I like frugal I like to like I said earlier get the most bang for my buck and what I mean by that is value really uh, whenever I'm buying something, I look for value. So, so it's important to kind of look at all sides of the spectrum. You know, sometimes you think of the lowest price item being garbage and trash and something that you use it once, throw it away. And then the really expensive stuff, some guys buy that just because they assume, well, it's expensive, it's got to be good. And it lasts. Well, I'm finding that can kind of be true with tires as well. And that's why I wanted to make a video for you guys on these Venom Power Tires. These tires right here on my truck are a 275, 70, and an 18 inch wheel. And these are a 10 ply tire. So they're perfect for this three quarter ton diesel here. Let's take a look at the tread pattern together. Probably looks like a very well known Baja style racing tire that you guys are very familiar with if you're into tires in any shape or fashion. It's a very, it's a pretty aggressive tread pattern. This, I think they market it kind of as an all-terrain slash hybrid. So this starts falling into that territory of, um, well, like I said, the hybrids, you know, the hybrid between an all-terrain and a mud terrain. Although I'd say it airs more on the all-terrain side. Let me get you closer to look at that tread pattern. Mind you, this these tires have probably got two, 3,000 miles on them at this point. They have either a, and I'm just saying this off the top of my head, it's either a 50 or 55,000 mile warranty. I think it's a 50,000 mile warranty. But that's pretty good, considering uh, all-terrain that's moving into a hybrid. You can see the siping looks really good. Some large open blocks in there, which I will say attribute to some road noise. But nothing unbearable, especially for the price. Sidewall, it's nice and aggressive. You can see, look how deep that is there. That looks good. I've always enjoyed that, ever since the Hankook Dyna Pros. Uh, the ATM specifically, they had that sidewall aggressive looking pattern and I really liked it. You see these particular tires are made in Thailand. And I will tell you that Venom Power is a Chinese company. I know a lot of times people immediately hear that and they're like, oh, China, and they write it off. Guys, you don't need to write these tires off. These are really good tires. And I tell you, I just want you to look around next time you're out. Whether you're at a store, a parking lot, anywhere, you're going to see a lot of these. I never noticed them until I started looking around, and they are a popular tire. So before I really get into any specifics about the tire or how much I paid them or how I really like them, even though I've kind of already told you, let me tell you just a little bit about what I know about tires. You may be watching this like, okay, it's just any other YouTube video, and it is. I don't have any crazy cool specs for you or anything like that. I'm not trying. To, I'm not a tire shop trying to sell you these tires. I'm just a, a real guy with real world experience that I wanna share with you. So let me tell you a little bit about my experience that I've had with previous tires and just how it compares to these tires here. Previous experience I have with other tires, just so you guys know that, you know, I've, I've used a few different tires and um, so I, I know what a good tire looks like and feels like. So to name some brands that I've used, Hankook, uh, BFG, Toyos, you know, those are all really, really good uh, tire brands that have been established around for a long time. Lots of people run them. Um, experience with the Nittos too, especially on these trucks, super, super popular tires. Uh, all those categories are, and rightfully so. They're all really, really good tires. The drawback to them, as you guys probably know, is they're expensive. That's why a lot of tire shops sell a lot of cheaper tires. Some brands that you may buy them that time, but by the time you're due for a new set and you go there, they're gone because Maybe they just weren't a big brand and weren't real popular and maybe they weren't a real good tire you know they said they promised they were going to be but by the time it was all said and done maybe you didn't get good mileage out of them 
different things of that nature. That was kind of the feeling I had towards these tires at first, I'll be honest, because I'd never heard of this company. They don't spend any money on marketing, really. I mean, hardly any at all. And of course, like I said, you know, it's got that, that association with China, which the guys in the truck community kind of tend to uh, turn their nose to. And so I was a little bit nervous, but I started doing some research, reading on forums and uh, different Facebook groups that I'm part of, as well as uh, some additional videos on YouTube. And I really couldn't find just a whole lot of negative about these tires. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna take a chance on them. So let me talk a little bit about the pros. I think right off the bat, the two biggest things, well, three biggest things for me are, A, the looks, it's a really good looking tire. Like I said, it looks kind of like that Baja racing tire that's really popular. Uh, you guys are gonna know which one I'm talking about if you do much research on these. But it's a, it's a great tread pattern, looks really good. It's nice and aggressive. You can just see from how it looks on the truck, it, it's very, very nice. As I showed you earlier, the sidewall is nice and aggressive. It's a 10 ply tire, so it'll haul a nice heavy load, just like what this three quarter ton could do. So in the looks department, 10 out of 10, I think it's awesome. Next, performance. Holy cow, it's actually really good. That's why I neglected at first, even though I was super excited to do it and I've had these tires on since, honestly, it's been close to a year now. It was around summertime and it's spring now that I got these put on, they they actually do really good. I was super surprised to say that. In mud, of course, for any of you that have watched the channel for any extended amount of time, know I live on a dirt road, so mud, anywhere that I travel on my little bit of property here, no issues with slippage. Of course, this thing's four-wheel drive, and they're still fairly new. Um, handles mud fine. Haven't had a single flat out of them so far, and this truck lives 90% of its time on dirt roads so I think you know they they seem to hold air that's a positive no sidewall issues I even intentionally waited because I wanted to put them through their pace in snow now these are not a I think it what is it the three mountain peak sorry some redneck guy talking about this the three snowflake peak um, rated which means they're I guess exceptional in snow it doesn't have that but you know I've dri driven it through several inches of snow and even a little bit of ice which no tire is gonna be good on ice but in the snow, it's performed perfect. Just as good as any tire that I've honestly had in the snow, to being completely honest. Keep in mind, I'm comparing my experience to the BFG KO2s, um, Toyo RTs, Nittle Ridge Grapplers, Hankook Dyna Pro ATMs. So just th that's what I'm basing my experience off compared to those tires. Uh, performance wise, I think it's, it does just as good in my day-to-day -day use case. Now, I'm not one that, I'm not taking this thing out and you know, racing it or burying it up in mud. If you're going to do that sort of stuff, I think that's where you might need a dedicated type tire, tire like that for a racing or mudding. But for a practical, everyday driver, phenomenal tire in the performance category. And as far as wear, I can't really detect any wear on it. But I will tell you this, uh, as I said earlier, this these tires maybe have 1,000, 2,000 miles on them. I don't drive this truck just a ton, it's not my daily driver, but as far as if it has had any tread wear, it's not been noticeable at all. So uh, that that is pending, you know, that's something I need to, I need to drive this thing more to see how they wear and whatnot, but you know, 50, 60,000 miles is a lot on something that you don't drive every day. But so far it seems to be good and they come with that warranty too so i wouldn't be too worried about it and the third and probably my favorite factor about this tire is the cost for this set right here keep in mind they're 275 70 18s i paid shipped to my house 936 dollars on ebay 936 dollars for a 10 ply tire that's this big and with this aggressive a tread it's just unheard of. I had looked at some Ridge Grapplers, some Toyos, and just depending on where you look and whatnot, I mean, they were four, or 500 plus more for a set. And I thought, boy, for a, something that I'm just not driving every day, I can't justify it. I've kind of had all those before, and I, they're good tires. Like I say, I'm not knocking any of those other brands that I mentioned earlier. They're great tires. But at that price point, I just couldn't justify it. So I thought, you know what? At least for a YouTube review, I'm going to get these tires and see how I like them. And man, I love them. Uh, to be honest, if I buy stuff, 
on this channel and I don't like it, or if somebody, even if a company sends me something and I don't like it, I don't do a review of it because I don't want to peddle stuff that I don't really believe in or that I don't enjoy myself. So I tend to test things and if I don't like it, you just, you never see or hear about it. Uh, just because I don't typically like bashing companies or anything of that nature. But if I make a video about it, I'm generally pretty happy. And in this case, as I mentioned to you, it's, it's, it's exceptional. I love them. They're great tire. So you've got what I like about it, kind of the looks and the feel of them, the performance, and of course that price point, super cheap. Let's talk about a few cons. I've really only got two that I can think of, and they're pretty, they're pretty minute. I don't think it's going to necessarily turn anybody off. Um, the first thing, I've heard that these are really tough to balance. That's just what I've read up on. I don't know if it was just a run of the tires that they had that was hard to balance, but I will tell you from experience, whenever I bought them, I read lots of things where people said, oh my gosh, they're terrible to balance. And even the first uh, local mechanic that I typically go to first off and really trust, he does great work, he, uh, he said, oh gosh, they're the Venom Power tires. He said, I had a set in here just the other day and it took him several hours to balance. Now, I don't know the capabilities of his machine, but he said, no thanks, find you somebody else if you would. And I mean, they were already in my truck bed at that point and I thought, oh man, have I made a mistake? Well, I took him to another actual dedicated tire shop that that's what they do day in and day out. And I took him in there and I said, hey guys, I bought these tires. Um, I need them mounted and balanced if you would for me. And I said, I've heard stories that these are really tough, so just let me know how it goes. And they looked at him and didn't say anything. They said, no problem, just come get it in an hour or so. And funny enough, as I was leaving the parking lot, I noticed one of the guys that works there, one of their main guys, he actually had a set of these. It was the uh, the MT, so a bit more aggressive. But I thought, hmm, the guy that runs a tire shop has these. It must be okay. So they got them mounted and balanced, and honestly, they told me that they didn't have any issues. But, you know, they have the proper equipment to do that sort of thing. So uh, for what it's worth, your mileage may vary just depending on who you choose and uh, their capability to mount said tires. The second drawback, and this this could really go for a lot of different tires out here there even the ones that i've mentioned before they are kind of noisy uh, i would put them right in line with my well toyo rts that are over there on my 2013 you know those tires they started out really quiet and then as they've worn and they're about i maybe got three four thousand miles left in them um they're pretty loud uh, now my wife's rig over there has got the Toyo AT3s and those are quiet. Those are really quiet tires. These I'll say I was slightly disappointed. They for as aggressive as the tread looks. They are pretty loud. I've seen a lot more aggressive tires that are pretty on par with the sound. It's just kind of a loud um, hum. It's not necessarily a whine is how I describe it. More of a hum. But that, I did notice that right off the bat. They are pretty loud from that 30 mile mark. 30 mile per hour mark on up. Uh, they do kind of die out. I'd say around that 30 mile per hour mark is where you start really hearing it. But as you get going faster, it seems to kind of die off. It doesn't get much louder than that. So they are a little bit noisy. Uh, to be honest, I don't really care too much in this truck. Cause like I said, it spends most of its life on a dirt road. And this is a, this is a diesel with a turbo that's kind of loud and a straight pipe exhaust. This is not a quiet truck. So I'm not exactly concerned about the noise. Anymore. But if it's something that you don't like a drone, a hum, a, a whine to your tire on your daily driver, maybe you got a long commute and it sees a lot of highway, uh, that's something that you should take into consideration. On. But for the price point, I don't know how you could go wrong or be disappointed with the noise. Okay guys, well it looks like my battery is starting to get low and I've rambled on about them enough. Like I say, I don't have any cool specs for you or uh, anything of that. I'm just talking about my real world experience with them. Would I buy these again? Absolutely. I've been nothing but happy with them. I, I would absolutely buy them again. I've really considered strongly putting them on my 2014 Silverado over there, but just also <laughs> it's kind of one of those things too. I've already got them here. I, I know I like them. Uh, there is another set that I do want to test out on that truck. There's actually a couple sets. So uh, I can tell you the Toyo RTs for the most part, this is the first generation, by the way, and I think maybe that's why they swapped them. Uh, the Toyo RTs, they've been okay. Uh, not necessarily a bad tire. I don't have anything awful to say about them, but uh, I will say that's why I've waited so long to do a review on these because I did a review on the Toyo RTs right out the gate and talked about how much I love them. And as, of the, as they've worn, I've decided, yeah, I'm happy with them, but they wouldn't be my first option again. 
I think that's for, for what it is. Okay, guys, that does it. I've rambled enough. I'm going to let you go. Guys, if you appreciated the video, definitely leave a thumbs up on it. Be sure to subscribe. We'll do some more content in the future. I like to do a lot of maintenance items, things of that nature, as well as these tire reviews. I still need to do those Toyo AT3s that have been on my wife's car for two or three years now. So we've got some more content coming. All right, until the next video, take care.